Hi, I'm Silvio and this is part 7 of my Christmas Village 2020 full tutorial series. Forget flat surfaces. Add as many levels as you can. Both these sentences should be tattooed on the back of the end of every Christmas Village builder. All along the building process, you have to be focused on the final depth of view you want to achieve for your village. I am sorry to say this, but if your main intention is to simply lay down all your buildings, all your attractions or all your figurines on top of one of your kitchen tables, you will certainly fail to get a decent Christmas village. And as I mostly don't want this to happen to me, I will promptly start adding some levels. But first, I must deal with the painting of this little one. As promised, let's have a quick update concerning the painting of my uh, little bridge. Here we go. Uh, at the end, I decided uh, to uh, make it uh, completely uh, wood. Uh, so uh, here is the final result. I hope you can uh, get every angle of uh, it. Uh, I started by carving into the main platform with this tool because I wanted to have some uh, wood uh, grains all along the main uh, platform. Uh, so I've carved quickly uh, this way. Then I've also carved the, the two beams, the two support beams, the same way, but uh, uh, in the opposite direction. If this is considered uh, vertical, this could be considered horizontal uh, carving. And once again, vertical carving for the uh, main pillars. Uh, after the carving, I've painted it all in black before adding uh, two layers of uh, brown, a uh, dark layer firstly, then a lighter uh, brown uh, before uh, the third and last uh, shades of uh, brown that uh, has been a uh, sienna brown, an almost uh, yellow uh, brown, uh, just uh, uh, light painted. And uh, finally, I ended with a dry brush of uh, white. And this is the final uh, result. Hope it can be uh, seen correctly. I know it isn't uh, perfect, but it's uh, a correct uh, result, I think. And uh, with some uh, tracks uh, on top of it, imagine uh, the tracks uh, then the ballast covering the trucks that I will uh, have uh, lately. And this is the final result. Let me have uh, it uh, where it belongs and then I will secure the trucks on top of it.
after shooting the sequence you have adjusted the scene, I thought it will be too boring to show you the entire process of cutting and shaping all the panels I will need to build uh, my levels. So I decided to go the shocking way and presenting you with the final or almost the final uh, result. And this way I will explain it uh, uh, more precisely. It has just been a matter of uh, measuring, cutting, placing and playing uh, some Tetris for those of you who are old enough to remember Tetris. And I also invited one of my dearest friends, the Christmas train. This year I decided uh, to be a little, no, forget little, to be uh, absolutely crazy with my uh, levels or floors if you prefer. Um, for my past uh, villages I've always been as symmetrical as possible. I've always made parallel uh, levels. I've always started with the ground level having a depth or width uh, between uh, 30 and 50 centimeters. Then I have added the next level perf perfectly parallel to my ground level and so on for the third and fourth level and each time I add a depth of between 30 and 50 centimeters. This year I went the opposite way. There is absolutely nothing uh, symmetrical this year and I think I like it better. It will give me more um, solution to get uh, what I need to get. And just remember that uh, each year the levels can't be planned uh, before starting the village. They had to be made on the moment after the initial setting up of the layout. So let's go and have some explanation. Uh, the, the first level or uh, ground level has a depth or a width, um, no, as a depth is better, between 50 centimeters, here we have around 50 centimeters, yes, 50 centimeters and a maximum depth of 70 centimeters and this will be my first uh, level. I still don't know yet what I will put on it. Then uh, instead of going from one side to the opposite side with just one perfectly um, straight level, I uh, started by adding immediately a second level here in the final section of the um, of the uh, layout, I've added a 12 centimeters uh, um, level, and uh, I will I have continued this way, making obviously some space for the uh, tracks, the support tracks, and the train that will have to roll easily between those two panels. So I've uh, cut it and carved a, a wide enough uh, section. Then the uh, second level will continue this uh, way for uh, another 50 to 60 uh, centimeters and over there back to the edge of the uh, river. Then a third section uh, will start here. Uh, I've added another uh, 12 centimeters. Let me just show you how I made it. I generally use uh, this kind of solution where um, I have to um, make a level 
uh, having something uh, down there. If a level can't be made uh, exclusively uh, by using a plain uh, panel, I will use a support section where it is possible to add them, them and a final platform on top of the supports right there. This is done the same way, nothing is yet fixed, all is absolutely moving except for the vertical supports, not all of them, this one is not yet fixed and so on with the third uh, level. Uh, the third level will continue here with uh, this uh, section, uh, the same eight as before, and I have enough space for the train, enough eight, sorry, for the train to uh, roll easily without interfering with anything. And the final section here, the fourth section, here the fourth section with the same uh, principle. I have added the support uh, sections, some big pillars, some uh, uh, narrow but long uh, section uh, support there, and a final um, and a final uh, level here. And it has uh, the capability of supporting enough weight. I'm just applying a big amount of strength on the panel and it will resist all the uh, weight. Uh, this third section has uh, also a uh, uh, width or depth of 50 centimeters and this will complete uh, the, this side of the layout. Let's go back to the other side uh, then I will explain something uh, later. Uh, just forget for now the uh, C adapter. And from this side, uh, I I have my uh, my other second level here, 12 centimeters from the uh, ground level, obviously and uh, between 50 and 60 centimeters uh, of uh, depth. And uh, I also added uh, some little... Uh, let me just move the camera. I've just made uh, some little uh, tunnel, some little gallery here for the uh, train. Uh, I've just carved it into uh, 12 centimeters, 8 panel some uh, space for the uh, train. Obviously I will paint it black uh, lately, but I thought uh, it would be better this way instead of having a big open or uh, wide open space in the corner here. And finally this section, this uh, um, side of the layout has only, will have only uh, one, two, uh, three uh, levels because in the back I still have my uh, waterfall and uh, this has been made the same way I needed uh, some levels to cover my main uh, water container so I've just got uh, some support uh, pillars some um, not shaped obviously just the correct eighth just the correct eighth then I've added on top of them my third uh, level. This way I will have always an access to here. Let me just have it shown. I will always have an access to my main water container if I need to refill it in some way. Nothing is fixed, I repeat. Now, uh, I absolutely hate uh, villages that have uh, multiple levels and uh, each level is not accessible from the previous one. So I will add plenty of stairs and bridges and footbridges. 
this side and here so I will have a, and this side it will be probably the trickiest one uh, because I have to add some stairs here sorry I will have to add some stairs here to gain access to the second level here or maybe uh, stairs and a platform here to uh, cross over the tracks to get access to the second level I don't know yet, I still need to think about it if it is good or if it is better to have a stairs there and a cross platform here then another stairs going uh, down or if it will be better to have a stairs here then a platform here going over uh, the tracks or maybe both uh, this will be tricky I know obviously I will add another stairs here to gain access to the third uh, level from this side I will have access to all the levels from the other side from the other side it will be the same thing I will add a main a main uh, stairs a main wide big stairs here to gain access from the ground uh, level to the first level then uh, some uh, bridges I will have one or two bridges uh, here one or two bridges here to uh, going from to cross over the railroad to cross over the canyon sorry and then I will add uh, some more stairs here to have access to the third level then some more bridges to go from uh, this little section of the third level to the next section having uh, to cross uh, uh, over another uh, canyon then finally some road some road or maybe some stairs I don't know yet maybe I don't know uh, to get access to the fourth uh, level every levels need to be accessible from the previous one surely I will add a main big long foot bridge here to get access from this uh, side of the third level to this side of the third level it has to be a very uh, long and difficult bridge to make because uh, I don't know where to put the supports for the bridge I have some ideas but uh, eh, they will be to ahead in time with the historical period I was uh, thinking uh, to the uh, Mio bridge or uh, Mio uh, viaduct if you prefer in France the longest and highest uh, bridge in uh, Europe <laughs> but it will be uh, too uh, futuristic for this uh, village I need to find another solution and obviously I will have uh, absolutely no access uh, from this side of uh, the second level to this side of the second level and uh, it torment me a little bit but I will have another solution just uh, some stairs to get access here and there some crossing over here and there and then for getting here you will have to make all all the road from the third level the main foot bridge the main bridge down there to the second level to gain access or the opposite way if you want uh, to um, go from this level to this level or this level you will have to get down there here and up there and so on I don't think I have a good looking solution or well, I don't think I will uh, find a good uh, looking solution for crossing uh, all the river 
and all this enormous gap to get access from this uh, side of the second level to this other side of the second level. Uh, I don't know, I know uh, nothing is perfect in life. I will have uh, to adapt uh, to this. Just uh, don't forget, uh, just remember that all you are seeing now will be, will be wrapped with this uh, paper, with this paper I've shown you, uh, I showed you last time. Just remember that with this paper all the uh, angles or the straight lines will disappear and become absolutely perfect uh, or almost absolutely perfect mountains and uh, rocks. But you are quite smart and you know that I won't use this paper right now. I still have to do um, a very big amount of work. Um, I think I've explained to you all I've made for getting my levels for this year um, village. Let me just finish with uh, my little friend, my dearest friend, the train, because I've realized just uh, half an hour ago that uh, I haven't tested <laughs> the tracks with the train. I don't know if uh, the train will be able to climb the layout without problems. Just remember that this is not a digital train, it is an analogic train, so I can't get a constant uh, speed uh, to, through all the uh, layout. Let me just uh, start uh, the train. Let's go easy the first time. Let's see if the trains uh, climb or go. Let's just cross the fingers and will not uh, derail. It's uh, getting up there. It's slowing down. It's normal because it is the steepest uh, section. And oh, yeah, here we go with the train down there. And it will soon uh, be visible uh, through the main uh, bridge. Here it comes the train, hope you can see it. Until now no problems, a little bit in the curve, no. And here we go with the train. First preview of the year with my dearest friend, the Christmas train. Here it goes down a little too quick, no, no problems at all. Just yeah, I got a problem there because I moved something, the train is stuck because I've moved the uh, panels before. Let me just check the train, oh, hoping it hasn't derailed. Yes, yes, it has derailed. I'm sorry, I always knew that life is far from being perfect and I told you that uh, I haven't fixed any of the support yet so uh, when I show you the support in that uh, section I obviously moved it uh, too much and uh, it has caused the derailment anyway let's go ahead with another uh, lap just the same way of this time uh, life will be more gentle with me. The train is slowing down obviously because uh, it's uh, uh, climbing the steepest uh, section as I told you before. Now it will appear between uh, the section down on the back, down there on the back and next time it will appear uh, on the main uh, um, bridge, on the main uh, rock bridge. Here comes the train, just 
a curve from the bridge and here we have the train that it is accelerating too much in the descent but it can support it right now and uh, the section uh, okay passed through and here we have the train returning to the base okay Oof. Uh, finally the test has been productive so let me have uh, a little explanation uh, my dearest friend here the Christmas train didn't have at all this aspect when I bought uh, it uh, each uh, car or each uh, wagons if you prefer had uh, normal uh, were absolutely normal uh, this was uh, Pennsylvania uh, cars and uh, some other uh, wagons uh, have uh, had these uh, little um, lettering and these little paintings it was the Denver and Rio Grande Western uh, train it was essentially all yellow and black and silver I've repainted it this one I started repainting it from uh, the uh, wheels down there uh, because originally all the support uh, all the wheels were black and uh, so just a quick update concerning my um, my little friend and all the package are all the gifts are made from wood that I painted and wrapped and this I haven't made it because it is a little bare the boards too uh, are no the boards are not from made from wood they are made from uh, styrofoam yes they are styrofoam okay just a quick uh, explanation about my train because uh, it is already painted, it is already done, so I will certainly not uh, show you anything concerning the painting of the train. Obviously, I can always make a tutorial if you a tutorial if you need uh, it uh, painting the remaining wagons or cars. I still have. I think this is all for the building of uh, for the initial building of the. Uh, levels okay bye five hours five hours that have completely twisted the landscape of a Christmas village uh, let's be honest five hours ago this village and my village was still awfully anonymous with no identity at all and you know it as much as I do but you need to start from somewhere yes rivers waterfalls and train our queue and will add something magic to the Christmas atmosphere. But the real star are and will always be the buildings, the figurines, the attractions, the table accents, better if with movements, and let's not forget the trees and the snow. But they all need a proper stand from where they can dominate their real portion of space. And without levels, just the ones in the front row will really glow, binding the others to the simple role of background actors. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment and give thumbs up. Thank you for watching, thank you for bearing my absolutely awful English and, if you wish, see you next time.